again. Hey there, welcome to today's edition of Her Sports Corner Podcast. My name is Lydia Farrell. Welcome back, ladies. And today, we're going to be talking a little bit about baseball. Now, one of the things I want to talk to you about today is one of the most dangerous, the most intense, and in my humble opinion, the most exciting things about the sport of baseball, collisions at home plate. So, the best way to kind of explain to you the rules around this is to set up a little bit of a scenario. I want you to roll with me on this, and I'm going to explain to you when this happens, why it happens, and then what we do about this. So, I want you to picture it. It's the bottom of the ninth inning. It is tie game. Your team is hitting. They're up to bat. But you have the fastest guy on your team sitting at second base. He is ready to come home, and all he needs is for someone to hit him and bring him on back. Cool? The next person you have in your lineup just happens to be none other than Mike Trout, one of the best bats in the whole major leagues. Lucky you, congratulations. And as Mike Trout does, he lines the ball straight into the space in center field. Now, remember, you have the fastest guy on your team who now has seen this and he is rip rearing around those bases, making his way home. Okay, while this is happening, Unfortunately for your team, the center fielder has just woken up. He has retrieved this ball that has fallen into the outfield, and he happens to have one of the best arms in the major league and is hurling that ball at his catcher as fast as he possibly can to prevent your guy from scoring, all right? This is all simultaneously happening in a matter of seconds, and what you have right here, ladies, is the prime time collision scenario, all right? You have a guy, your runner, coming right towards home plate who wants to score for his team, and that catcher who does not want to be the guy in the locker room giving up that run. So, the what the league did is because this can be a little bit of a hairy scenario, as you can imagine, they set up some rules around this to make sure, one, it was fair for all players and teams involved, and two, also to make sure that everybody stays safe. This isn't football, we're gonna leave the tackling. For that sport, we wanna make sure we all have a fair share. So, there's a couple things that the runner can't do for this collision to make sure that he stays safe. Number one is he has to take a direct line towards home plate. Now, if this were someone like me, I'd be trying to zigzag down that baseline throw the catcher off a little bit, see if I can get behind him. Unfortunately, not allowed. The MLB has realized this is not a good thing to do. He's got to make a direct line for that home plate. That's got to be his main mission. Um, Number two, the thing he can't do that I probably would try to do is he can't throw him a shoulder. You can't push him. You can't try and take out the guy. The catcher's got to have a fair shot as far as making sure he can come back at you a little bit. So again, that runner's main mission is he wants to hit that home plate and score. But from the catcher's standpoint too, there's a couple things that he has to make sure that he's staying in check with. Number one, the biggest thing, let's go back to that scenario a little bit. Let's say that center fielder has somehow lost the ball. So your catcher is there in front of home plate. He has this guy running towards him, but he actually doesn't have the ball in his hand. That's a no-no too. He can't impede that runner from getting to that base if he doesn't have the ball in his possession. Now, if he does have the ball in his possession, the biggest thing that the catcher has to worry about is actually holding on to that ball. If those two players collide, the catcher prevents him from getting to home plate, but he then drops the ball and the runner crosses, the run's given up anyway. So that's gonna be in the back of his mind. Hey, I might take a little bit of this hit, but more than anything, I am not gonna let this guy cross my plate and I'm gonna make sure I tag him out. So I hope you learned a little bit today. Again, keep an eye out. It's one of the most exciting things to watch at the end of the game. Hopefully it's in your team's favor. My name is Lydia Farrell and I'll see you again soon.